Hello and welcome. Now, I actually agree with what I said last session, which was uh, we, that will wait. It's not out of season, so that will actually catch up with it. So I thought it's not a bad idea, actually, to just wait till the morning. But are we going to get... No, they're all light green. Those two are light green. They're fine. They really are. I mind myself. They are, oh, the Arcanola. Yeah, we did. Right, okay. So I think we're right. So with that in mind, let's just remind myself, I know we will have checked the sails. I do remember this, yes, because I was like thinking about the uh, Titan Draper and Reel again. A very good prize for that. Absolutely amazing. But we're going to sleep through till tomorrow morning, I think, and we are going to see. And if whatever, whatever happens, happens, I've got to sort of say that it, you know you, you think you know how it's going to happen and it should it should with seasonal growth it shouldn't go withered out of season and it is going to be nine o'clock in the morning yeah I, I mean don't get me wrong it's two foods instead of one but it, it's like we'll hit one we did we did that last session too we did two they are big fields so vegetables uh it's such a shame about that mod but i i'm not sure the mod is not um Wouldn't it clear you out? Is this the same big you are? Yeah, it is. It is 81%. That's, that is, that is, oh, it's a terrible bonus, though, really. It is. That's a 50 meter spread, though. Gordon Bennett, I don't think there's anything that touches that in the game. So if there was a better bonus, it was a 50% off, I might actually consider it. Because you know, I've never owned one, and that, that would be quite nice. So then, first things first, let's get our animals to. Jump the fence. Yeah, let's get this sorted. And then we're going to get those two fields done. Yeah, it's a. Oh, you'd say that. That's just. I'm presuming, yeah, you were right. You were right. You sort of, I did sort of know that, but it's still that moment of like, oh, am I right? But you sort of get. Am I right? Yeah, they say that sort of moment. So should really. No. Yeah, the. They seem to be eating more. I don't get it. Yeah, it's sort of. I don't know. I think it's one about one and a half every single day. Yeah, obviously. Again. Um, oh, that's true. We're not going to be able to cook the grass, are we? I think we knew that. I think we knew we were sort of risking. You know, like the loss of the. Didn't we cut the grass? Yeah, we cut the grass anyway, so it didn't really make any difference. But I'd imagine, I would imagine that that grass... I mean, we are going to win a lot in the back end with this vegetables. Yeah, second grow stage, and I'm not cutting on November. But, you know, yeah, it's still got the brown under it. It's... Uh, I'm not sure if you're going through the winter it gets its green gone, or whether it's the first time you cut it, or I can't remember what makes it turn. I damaged that a bit as well. I rolled that forwards when I started the engine, which has a bit annoyed me. Only a tiny little bit, but yeah, it's I did it annoy. Did I start the fen? Oh, I'd start everyone's engine, but right. Anyway, water. Yeah, let's get the water and the milk sorted. Uh, that's not the right one. I've gone too high now. Let's oh, now we need to. We need to do a little bit more. I'm going to say, I'm sure we've not quite finished. Nearly, but. Oh, not nearly at all. Oh, Gordon Ben here. Seriously? Say so didn't break the bank there. Set down. Yeah, I'm well pleased with the a bit disappointed about the um the, obviously the, the we've had to sort of do the gardens ourselves and obviously we've only got two instead of four and it's cost us nearly a hundred thousand. That was that was diabolical. We get over that. Yeah, I mean it would cost us forty grand for those and then obviously we've got to sell it. Really a bit yeah. Wow, that seems a bit more of a struggle than normal. 
that's what you get when you got using the more power mod. It makes you sort of like think your power, you, and that's why I switched it off in a way. Although I have got to be honest, I still do concur. This is a hundred horsepower tractor pulling ten tons. It can easily manage this. It's not. A, it's a little snippet of a hill. I still think I'm right. I, the more power wants to go, but I would like to see how um, how our harvester manages the nine meter without the more power. I'm not expecting it obviously to like be perfect, but I still think it should be able to do it. It's not a normal dominator. It's not the 220 horsepower ones that you get. You know, like it's 270. It's nearly the same as a. Uh, one of the Deutz that you start the game with, and there you are capable of a 12 meter. Um, yeah, well, I've had a 12 meter on it. I think, I don't think it's much more than that. A little bit more, another three tons. Yeah, that should be about spot on. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, obviously, yeah, there's a. Oh, that is a point, actually. We are sending our new gardens. Let's have a quick look at them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone down quite a lot. Saying the water distribution is supposed to be district. This is what I was saying. It's not doing its job properly. It's taken 10 tons to do all of those. Yeah, no, I was just looking at how much they've got left in them. But they are distributing. And that likewise, it's like, I, I am right, that new water mod is not doing its job properly. It's it's like not playing ball with anything in the distributor because it like looks like that. It's not doing its prob, its job properly either. And I don't think it's the distributor's fault because this normally is it's not perfect. I think that's the power of production is not quite working. They dribble a little rather than sort of or think, oh, I've got two million litres here, let's stick two million litres into the Omatana farm supply production and fill it. It doesn't do that, it just does like little bits and bobs. Although I have seen it do that as well, it's really strange. Right, let's, let's concentrate. Right, that's, we've sent those off. They're still going nicely. We never did stick... No, we only ever wore these ones, really, rather than... We, we always talked about it. I've got to be honest, this farm is quite big. Yeah, this is obviously not doing anything. Yeah, th this is why we're not earning a fortune, because we've missed our grass a bit. Yeah, this, this year's... I mean, we started again in August, so we've missed cuts and all sorts. So, what's the olive oil building up to... It's 15 tons. Pig food is selling. Grape juice is selling. Some fire oil is nice. Sugar's good and distributing. Production sheds not doing much at all now. As I said, yeah, we, uh, the grass has not done anything. But the lime, we're up to 33 tons, and that's there's no stones left, so that can go off. Oh, what are we sure of? See, the sugar's filled. Water's got some. It has gone up a little. Uh, you know, constantly got butter and all sorts on these. So these just want sugar and water. So why have we not got fruits go to it though? Because that, that should be... Yeah, I mean, we are distributing. So what happened to that? Why are they not distributing? Why have we got absolutely nothing but we already saw in our gardens that we've got a little tiny bit. Does it not distribute to this got? I, I don't understand this. That says 3,600. So does that. I don't get why it's only doing, is it 3,600 divided by all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it was 10, it would be 360 per one, but it's not, it's eight. So by my reckoning, if it was, doing it like that. These should still be more than they're actually doing. So either these aren't working properly. Oh, didn't we get this on our grids with these exact, with the exotic orchard? Early on, very, very early on, I seem to vaguely remember. I think that's why I don't use them. I think obviously this is the only thing on this. It's because I've got bad memories of this on Agra's balcony is the exotic orchard. And it's one of those things where you sort of forget about it, but you're your, I was going to say soul, <laughs> it is true, your subconscious doesn't forget and it tries to protect you, as my dad would always say, and it is, it is true, yeah, hurt, 
uh, even if it's little, silly little of it, your brain sort of goes, no, I don't want that again. And you don't always realise what it is that's stopping you. Because that's that should be working. It, yeah, I mean, it's according to that. That's For this recipe, is 2,880 for one. And it's not doing that. Because if it was, we are distrib- I've not made a mistake for once. I've distributed them all. And when we look at that, the fruit one... Yeah, I mean, the apples have got a bit in. But, I mean, we're talking, we are really talking a bit. But am I being unfair? Is it like what time of the day did we do it? Yeah, let's give it a break. It could have been really late in the day. I can't remember how. No, we did it first thing in the morning. Before we did the harvest. And it still wasn't that late when we'd finished those two fields. And I spent some hours on that. So no, I am right. I'm not being unfair. Obviously the honey, we knew that. Oh, pectin. So we've got a, we've got something we need to buy. Um, that's five apple butter. Apple jam. So pectin, something we need for apple jam. Sugar we've got, and that makes that. And I'm no doubt. I think I've seen the prices. The one good thing. Jam Gaming does do. He's he's done his sums, which doesn't surprise me. And this is worth doing. So we need honey, butter. We're not we're, not, we're selling the butter. We now need to distribute some butter. Yeah, and if we get a, a shed load of uh, butter in that, then what we're going to do is obviously we should swap around. So fruit jellies is it again packed in. I've always said this, I don't mind buying... Oh, I'm going to come and make pectin. Ten apples plus one equals one pectin. Wow, that's, that is a bit. We produce any pectin at all? No, because nothing's gone in. Hmm, okay. Can we buy pectin? Do you, can you buy it from the shop? Rather than waste your products on pectin like a loan when we could buy it. If you can, it'll be in pallets. But you'll be able to buy the input directly. That I do know, but I'm not sure. It might be really expensive or it might be really... Yeah, we'll have a look. Let's look at this first. Let's be methodical. Uh, no, it doesn't always tell you if something's for sale in the shop. If you look on the... Sale point. It doesn't ever say the shop. Yeah, I'm selling it at the shop. It just does it. You get pallets in here. If it's... Uh, oh, that's right. The bees pallet by Switty. Empty pallet seeds. And there are all the biggies. Maple syrup pallet pallets. Fillable. Yeah, I bought this. I thought this was not a bad idea. It's literally put everything in it. I must start to use these DS powers. I, it's it's not that I don't like them. It's again, some of these have got like, they're, they're a bit of a pain. Molasses. As in like, you can only load them a certain way. And you can only unload them a certain way. No. So it's not in there. So it looks like, can we buy it? I mean, as in like, directly. Because to be honest, the pectin, let's see what how much it is. Oh. Oh, we can't buy it. That's telling us we can't buy pectin. Right, so pectin seems to be an integral part of all these fruit jellies. And we need a lot. But we need a lot of 10 plus 1 to produce 1 pectin. And they need 1 pectin to produce... Uh, I'm not sure. It's the first time I've actually looked at this properly when I'm looking at um, the... Three, four, five, six. That's three, though, so that's not the same. Plus the sugar as well equals five. It's not too terrible if it's worth something. Yeah, and there's obviously different ones. None of these juices need pectin, so apple pie doesn't need pectin either. I think pectin we're going to switch off. I know that means we've got to switch these off too. They're probably worth a fortune. Yeah, we can't have that as well. And that we can. Apple butter. Yeah, that we can. We need some honey, some bees. Now, I've got two ways of doing this. We've just seen Sweetie does a, um, a mod that does bees. But 
there's also another one. The bees die. I mean, that's, it's sort of realistic, but they buy every single month you, you lose some uh, bees. So let's have a look. There was one I really liked, and I tried this one not long back. Uh, the other thing is, it does good your fields good if you have it. So I'm trying to think, but we also can't block our way. So I'm thinking, this bit here, where the little dot is, Cross there, that wow, well, as you will see. Well, we can always take a bit of the fence out if we're going to put. There's a big beehive that I really do. A really quite monstrous one, if I remember rightly. Now, this is the one where you need to put bees in. This is. There's a bigger one than, than I. Yeah, there's one that I found. Please tell me we're taking it out. Here you go, 132. The red barn pack. It's that's like it's for like five. Is that right? Five, five is 150. It's like four. 33, 120. So it's, <laughs> it's four and a half. Okay. It is. Uh, we have spat. Yeah. We can also do this. Honey distributor to distribute honey directly, which I do really like. So, it's supposed, yeah, your honey is supposed to do nice things if you're on canola fields and things like that. Well, this is fairly central, and we don't ever use that. Uh, it's not like we need to. The bees look after themselves. Let's be truthful. <laughs> it's true. So we need to look at the back, and we need to come out a little. I think it will fit there quite nicely, actually. Uh, we could actually, it is true, what we could do is if we look that is one two three four five six one two three three four five six no, it's actually seven yeah that that's about right we'd have to put v mode on but it's it is fairly flat and we're not going to do anything. It's it's slightly more, but it, you're talking four times for six thousand extra. I have had this one time before, and it is amazing. Right, so we also want the spawning, the uh, points. We don't need to go big on this. Yeah, and you don't have to have it right next door either. I don't think. Sure. You this way you like. Um, well, really, for us, actually, it's not going to hurt if we do do that. Right, yeah, we know. We've only, we've only put one down. And then we need to go for this. What is that? Yeah, you got to put it in B mode. Right, smashing. So that's the honey distributor, which now will show up as a Production, which I think is rather amazing. So we need to go to the honey distributor and we need to distribute the honey, which will go to that particular. And then, obviously, when we, if we get a stop, I will stop distributing for a bit and we'll sell it because it does produce, as you would expect, quite a lot of honey. So, this is going to call for honey for the apple butter and the butter we've told to go as well but the apples are now doing that we haven't got the jam we've only got apple chips and apple butter now we ought to really look and see i mean yeah hopefully it'll start to work because otherwise it's i mean we've invested an awful lot now we're about two hundred and forty thousand in total i mean i don't mind buying more greenhouses but it's like the ones we've got aren't working properly either so we shall see if this doesn't start to pick up in a month or two we shall um pull out of the fruits and juice because it, yeah it's again you everybody goes into business to make money not to lose money and i've got i'm going to give it a chance because we've invested nearly a quarter of a million on everything so far so let's have a look prices I did look at this, but I can't remember. I just know it was good. When I looked at it, I thought, oh, they're good prices. JM Gaming's really, you know, like, done his, worked everything out. So, Apple, no, that's the Stefan one. 
Oh, we might need to stick a sail point down. No, this is JM Gaming. So he'll have his own ones, won't he? Of course he will. Yeah, I mean, the, this is, I mean, these are really worth quite a lot. I mean, when they were working well on Agres, they actually were worth quite a lot. So Pectin's worth a fortune. I'm not surprised. It takes a lot of... So that, yeah, so here we go. Apple butter, which is the one we are making, and apple chips are both very good. The mortar fruit juice we switched off because we need pectin. No, no, that's the one that's... See, that's not really that... You know, it's multi fruit juice as well. Oh, no, it's, it's not terrible. Yeah. These are the dear ones. So it depends if they want one of these. Let's just check that. Because if they need the really expensive stuff. Yeah, it does. Papaya and pomegranates. Now, that one's not expensive fruits. That's papaya and limes or lemons. That's papaya. So they're all needing a lot of papaya. Yeah, they are. But papaya itself is worth quite a lot. So in some ways, you're probably best to switch some of these off because you're out, your papaya is actually worth quite a lot on its own. It's quite a, quite a substantial mango. Sorry, not papaya. It's the pomegranate and the mango. Oh, no, that's the papaya. Oh, I did see that as well. So the papaya, the mango, and the pomegranate, they're all worth almost as much as the... Water for juice. So it's sort of you again. This is what I was saying about the Cavalier Roy. If you're getting for your inputs like the same amount, why would you put that input in to make about the same when you've got twice as much stuff to going in? Unless it multiplies, that's the only time that that is going to work. If you're going to get five times the amount, so the multi fruit juice, it's not multiplying; it's staying the same. So that's it still not doesn't add up because what I'm saying is for for like one thousand of this I'm going to get one thousand seven hundred per thousand, but I'm going to get one thousand one for that and the pomegranates. So it's already broken the amount. So we're going to switch that one off. We're going to now that was not too bad. They're normal sort of costs, so they're not too bad. That's got mango and papaya both of which are actually worth quite a lot so that's got just two we'll, we'll give one a shot oh well, that's got two expensive things so that means we've only got one more fruit juice on which is the reasonable amounts so we want to actually the mangoes do we want to sell the mangoes or do we want to sell the mangoes Yeah, and are they worth the same all of the time? Let's have a quick look. So, mangoes. Mm, yeah, it, it's, yeah they're, they're quite good all the time. Papayas, likewise. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying is, they, on their, on their own, are worth a lot. So pomegranates, also pomegranates, yeah. So, anything with those three in, actually, when you actually work out... So you want your papayas to be selling and your pomegranates to be selling and your mangoes to be selling. And we want to do the same on this one. Mangoes selling and pomegranates selling and papayas selling. Now we need to switch off any. It's just no point in doing a business that doesn't make any sense. No matter who made it, whatever, it's it's got to make sense, these amounts. So we've now sold... Yeah, that one switched off. That's got papayas. And so we've got one fruit juice out of all of them. Yeah, let me just check that I'm not doing anything in injustice. Yeah, that's got expensive. And that's got one. So there's one multi-fruit juice that we've got with limes, oranges and apples. That's the only thing we've got going, which just needs a bit of sugar and a bit of water. So the business is looking a little bit lean now. We are making apple chips and apple butter. The pectin requires a lot of apples to make it. So you need 10 apples, eight 
limes to make one pectin and you need 10 apples to make one pectin which then you need one pectin plus an apple to make two of those so yeah again pectin is sort of like a, a fortune I mean, you could sell pectin but you'd still need a shit load of lemons and we've just seen we're not producing so yeah so that's a bit of a bit of a blowout really there's only that and that and the rest we're selling the products directly if they start to work otherwise yeah we're just gonna have to like i mean we're not pulling out of it because we've invested in it we would either if these settle down we can see if i mean the one thing i am going to say i think i had trouble we, we had trouble with this to begin with on Agris, I think there was something wrong, and I think JM Gaming sorted it out. Now, obviously, it's the same mods, but it looks like it's having an issue on this map. Because let's be honest, we had the outer space error, which usually means the mod, there's something in proximity to the mod that the mod doesn't like. Now, it was only near itself, so it's almost like the gardens themselves don't like each other, but we're not getting that. So, to me, there was something in that area that it didn't like. Now, so far, we've come into the game twice, and these are all happy. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good sign. But, I saw this on Agres when they were just ticking up a little tiny bit, like nothing was working. Then when JM Gaming fixed them, they went up to the cycles that they should have done, and we actually used to sell. I mean, I, on that, I went up and I grabbed them and I took them to market. On this, this is a, you know, literally, I mean, you can sell directly, so I will do, because some of them are worth quite a bit of cash. If they start to work, that's what I'm going to say. Right, now we've belabored this point. Not really, I'm just... What I'm saying is, I do class Jane Gaming as a friend, so therefore I'm not I'm not trying to slate him, but I've got to be truthful too. You can't just sort of say, oh yeah, no, everything's fine. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm losing 250,000. You can't say that. People are not silly. People know that that's not true. That's all I'm going to do. One far No, no, not no, I'm already involved. It's still a bit dingy. Right, so let's go grab the fence. Let's set this on this field to begin with whilst we go and fetch. So field 56. I think we did this because we were starting here, weren't we? Right, set this going while we go and get the... Um, hoping this field's better we did the worst field the worst field was 55 i did when i bought that i looked at it and thought oh my life there's some real real humdingers on that some really big right, so that also the corn is getting close i did notice it's very dark green so i think that'll be ready well, that will be it's november isn't it? so, ooh. no no we can't it's actually got a crop in it just looks like a brown field from where we were i don't think we can get that way yeah, I think with the grass, it's either going through the winter, as in the seasonal change, or you need to cut it and then it gets the carpet sort of look underneath. Until then, it looks horrible, I always find. Right, I'm going to say my words, because this is going to be a bit of a gruel, like the last session. But it is going to be worth it, because although it's going to be... I mean, we're going to sort of have to invest a lot of the profit already in a big lorry back, or it's going to take us forever to... Uh, oh, I suppose we could get two of these. Yeah, think about it. You can also link these. So that would be 240 tons of time. Right, it's definitely working. Right, I'm going to words anyway, yes. We should do what we did last time. I'm going to take over when I can. The only time I'm going to like let go is if I... Oh, did we check the sales? We didn't. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I remember. Right, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
yeah, I'm, that lorry, I've had an, a lot of let's plays and you really can feel the difference. It, it's is it 685, it's, it, I mean we have upgraded it, it is a monster now. And it was struggling with a 47 tonner. I mean really struggling, it was like slowing down 7 miles an hour. Where are we trucks? Still further down. Look, I'm sure I've upgraded it. Oh no, it's our trucks. Trucks. Uh, trucks. Yeah, 241 and 740 horsepower. It's far more powerful than almost all of the ones in the game and it was struggling like it was a 240 horsepower tractor. Uh, 240 horsepower lorry. One of the sort of small ones, so I've got to be honest, this I do concur with what I said about the more power mod. It seems necessary now because whatever they've done to nerf the horsepower is awful. It really is. I think the more power just makes up for it. It puts, it puts it back to where it used to be before. You shouldn't need to do that. Where, where things that you know... I mean... I know there was a minor adjustment a long time ago, that much I remember, and I thought that was quite right, but this one, there's no way that this is right. When you consider this monster and the, the 600 horsepower tracks that we've got, I had that as a 550, and again, it struggled with 150 horsepower implements. This, likewise, it's not, it's 47 tons. It can manage a 70, there's 110. One that I've had in the past, that's done that easily. Now I'm not sure that it would. So, yeah. So how did we do... I've always found, it's weird, that not all vegetables are equal. I've always found red beets less. For the same size field, we got about 400 odd tons of carrots off each and every one of those. That's not much smaller. Well, let's have a look. Let's, let's put money where our mouth is. 2.09. 2.2s, 2.2. So actually, it is true that one's big, but these three are almost the same. There's only 0.1 of a difference between that and that. So you'd imagine if that was 400 and that was 400, that this would be probably 360. Well, it's at 190 tons, 90,000 liters less than the carrots equivalent because you can see it's almost one two which is 400 ish per field 273 for red beets i always found carrots to be the best um, parsnips are not much different to um, beetroots red beets but we still have done it it's thrown us back that this as we were obviously we had planted we had worked out what we needed and we're like um we were doing our um, business for our bread and obviously now we've got completely the wrong crops we've got canola and corn left in our you know like the ones that we've done now the canola we did want for oil but that was yeah it was an afterthought really these really there's yeah i mean four big fields of i mean don't get me wrong cash is good i'm not but it's thrown our farm out and our model. We really didn't want to be doing this at all. But it is what it is. We it, we had to do it. I will do the stones on another one. I, I will. Um, I've obviously, I've, so far... Now, let's have a look. So, carrots and red beets. Yeah, it's weird that carrots are even worth more. So, 374, 450-odd. For those two sorts, of, it's going to take some logging as well. It is Louis Market tag. I can't because that wasn't the one we looked at. Herone, Heroneris Louis Market. That's got to be surely in the town. Mind you, it went wrong, didn't it? Yeah, that's the point. Have they gone back to where they should be now? Yeah, we were having weird things here, weren't? We? Yeah, no, they're not. So there's something not quite right with the map. It would be interesting. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, yeah, just to put my placeables on another new map, just to see if everything is right. But that's not right. Those productions are showing almost in our fields. So that's yeah. You can, actually, you can see them in. I think it's field 58. 
yeah it's like that let's move from here and the watermill market likewise which is over here has moved to over here we've not done anything and that I've never seen that on any map at all ever if I, I think I have done the yeah I am going to leave it here because it has been a monster but a very very productive one we have finally uh, next year we will get back and well I hope if if there's another map sort of crash or I need to do this all over again having done this on the alpha the beta and now the proper map JM game is very good at his updates what I'll do is I will do one more update I'm not doing any more I'm going to stick on the map so if there are updates that fix issues and you don't need a new save game I will well I won't need to do anything if that's the case if there are changes or features that are added, I'm only going to do it once more because on Agres, it's one thing that was both good and bad. JM Gaming um, did lots of updates, which is a credit to him. But obviously, some of them required map updates, which meant you'd got to start again or move, more well, like I moved my XML files. But then you've got to adjust your levels on your fields, and, and they're talking about that, which I didn't notice. The, Beehive is actually sticking up in the air at this end, so we need to uh, fix that because that's not quite right. It's gone down that end. We could really, we're probably best to level from the middle about there, which will raise it this end, but will also lower it that end if we do it right. Yeah, that's not bad. You didn't do a bad job there. And if we like that then we go from that corner again short pretty much level that like it should be. we've got some honey already amazing let's just level up, level up slightly brilliant there that's that's not perfect but it's not bad so yes, it's, uh, it has thrown us out. I really am hoping that whatever that is, that sort of glitch is sort of going to fix it. Because I mean, they are not there. We've not done anything. There's nothing you can do as a player to make cell points shift. So yeah, that one is in the town. So that's not too far to go. Yeah, that isn't. But that's obviously at present. So I'm hoping that that's right. So we, I was again worried at one point that we were going to like burst that. We're not far off. Yeah, 1.6... 1. 1. Yeah, 1.679. Remember the wood chips as well. We must do the wood chips because we do... Yeah, I mean, we sort of... Because of the fact that the grass and we had to rip the grass, although we did a little bit, we, we did get the money from it, obviously. That's, you know, but um, we've spent an absolute fortune. When you think we had 881,000... The only thing we've really done is, I think we bought one additional field and we bought the vegetable things. I, I would like to go through till tomorrow just to see how it actually goes for those productions. So we'll have a look now. 374, if we just view the, I mean, there are nearly all 374. So if we just, for once I'm not gonna go to the house, let's just go sleep through. Now we've done the animals. We've only an hour and a half in, so that shouldn't alter things enormously. I know it does play with things far more than it should, but even so. So we had 374. So it adds, it's like almost doubled, but it's like 300 and something every day. Yeah. Well, at that rate, we're not going to get rich slowly. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what I did mean. We are going to get rich slowly. We would need a shed load of these at that rate um, to actually give ourselves any cash. And you can tell by the uh, what we just got gained from the tickle. It was about 11,000. That's obviously selling. Well, not just that, actually. No, no, we're shifting the... Let's be fair, though. Obviously we're shifting, that's true as well, the water. I'm hoping it has distributed a little. Now we can see, it's not, it's not keeping up with it. 
the money the money the water we put in is actually sinking out and it's not keeping up with it it is equal on them both yeah it is it's almost so it's equally as bad on both whereas obviously our original things are still doing terribly well are we so no we're not selling not not the we are so yeah that is a point i don't know that they're doing anything really the honey's distributing let's have a look at everything grape juice is should still be selling pig food yeah i mean that's the point the pig food as well i the voice storing but it's only going to live some sunflowers soon no it's not it's june or july no i'm well, is it March? Yeah, let's go to the top like this. It's not very far down. Sunflower is... Yeah, it is March. And yeah, we're not doing canola at the minute. We will be. But so uh, yeah, olives are June, July. So really, I'm not being nasty, but the new businesses that we've spent a quarter of a million on are, are hardly making any impact at all. Really, I literally mean any impact at all, and we are selling the dearer ones, but obviously, we're talking a tiny, weeny little amount. So, I, I mean, I don't know whether four, whether the Jane Gaming did four on purpose because really you need four to actually do anything. I don't know. So, yeah, it's a bit, it really is quite a fright. We're not, we're, good job we're not relying on that. So, they're January. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I really wanted to highlight but in a way it's highlighted in a negative way the JM gaming business on the map which is an absolute a shocker it is we've hardly earned anything it's almost like they're actually negatively impacted if we earn better than this without it and I'm not sort of exaggerating either that's beautiful but we haven't got a real loader that is brilliant but I've got to be honest, I'm sticking with what we've got, so I'm not shifting the animals. I'm quite happy with Paranus. I'm going to leave it there, though. I just wanted to be fair. I just wanted to sort of take it a month forward. So the 300 or something that we're seeing, either that's right, and they're really quite a... Not a very... Yeah, careful what you say. They're not a terribly good um, business. And I have to be careful. I'm a bit of a terror for saying things how they are, but like without any... I don't mean in a horrible way, but it does come out just as if I'm an axe dropping a tree down and that's not nice yeah, I really don't mean it to uh, people have spent hours on this it might not be quite right but then again it might and it might be that like many mods that I've got in that I, I choose partners that not I, I, I want balanced ones I mean I throw mods out because they're too good so because I find them unbalanced so again it's not because I like to you know, like just, I mean, that there's the seed mod is probably the one that is the best in the game, or the line making mod. Yeah, by Flusty is a cracking one. If you were just going to buy, I mean, I would never do that, but if you were just going to buy stones and throw them there, you'll earn hundreds of thousands a day. And the same as the, um, you know, the seed mod, it does oh, it multiplies it something like a hundred and something times. So, Whereas I can earn two grand, I would earn like 220 grand off the same amount of seeds. So that that's ridiculous. That's like printing money. And that's not realistic then and not going to reflect what we do. But also, I've thrown mods out of the game where actually cost you far more. Where the modder hadn't thought about the inputs. A little bit like this, what we've seen in the game it's all about a thousand litres so if a thousand litres of your input sells for 2007 and that input goes into something as a part of a thousand all of them are still a thousand they all still got the same value as they had if you sold it individually so if it's if it's two seven and you're only going to get two seven or three for the whole thing and each one of those inputs is worth more than to be honest I mean we've seen the pectin I mean that is tremendous amount of 10 apples to produce one pectin and you need one pectin in every single thing so I just don't I don't get it I, don't, I can't see it being a viable business no matter what I do I cannot see it working anyway We've still got all the partners, even if that is a bit of a blowout, really. Yeah, it, it's, it's a shame. It wasn't bad, though. It wasn't 
they were quite good. So I'm thinking it's got to be an app, uh, sort of like a. It's not working as it should. It's got to be that. It really has. Because I've had these and they were good on Agris Dogons when they were fixed. Yeah, so I'm wondering if it's sort of something similar for now. Because I'm blown out of the waters in a bad way. Honey, how's that got to do on the honey? That is interesting. I mean, we can see there's something wrong with the map with the way that the sail points have shifted. But let's have a look. How did we do on the honey? Because that, that should have gone over to here. See, this is... This is not working right either, is it? Well, of course, now the apples are, like, tiny. Yeah, the butter's gone across. Why is the honey not... Yeah, why is the honey not going across? Is it sticking in the distributor? Have I not told it to distribute? Oh. Well, that's a bit odd. So really, oh, I, do I have to do something? I'm sure. Right, let's switch zone while it's on. It's a long time since I've used this. Let me see. It could be me, although we've just seen we told it to distribute, so... That is on the right place. Do I have to do something? Oh, I think I do. I think you have to still move them, like, grab them to the... Like this or something. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. Wow, it's floating. Didn't realise it was that high. Yeah, so we, that, that was the fact that... The honey needs to be shifted. It's not bad. It's two tons of 2,000 litres of honey. So next time we'll just drag it down a little bit. Simple as that. Right, so ooh, have I got a floaty fence? No, no, it's going down like it should do. Yeah, it's a little bit, needs a bit of smoothing, but you know, uh, that's just doing it. Yeah, and then I'm scooting because it really is a bit dingy for uh, having guests in, really. It's just. Soften that a little just there. That's it, yeah, because of the fence and everything, otherwise it's going to go bad. Right, and that is where I'm going to leave it. So, yeah, a bit of a blowout with the vegetables, as much as we didn't really want to do vegetables, are going to come in handy, as is the wood chips that we actually did. So, sometimes secondary businesses prop up you other ones, and I've got to be honest, there are plenty of businesses in life that are similar that don't quite work out. You do take a... So this is finally the growth stage. I'm not going to cut it off, obviously, but you can still see the brown. I'm not sure. I think it's the first time you cut it. It just goes green underneath, but uh, we could do both of those. I'm not sure we did. Yeah, it's weird. It's really disheartening when something uh, goes wrong in such a grand style, really. But as I said, it, it looks, I mean, the Bouillet has only just been released. And this is obviously, they, these weren't on the map for me to test when I did the testing. So, yeah, I just did normal farming, which all worked absolutely fine. Because I knew that there were no productions on the map. I mean, I could have put some in. I could have even put that very production in. But I was waiting for the game to do, we will do the stone. I am going to do that, definitely. We're going to, but I... I was waiting. Obviously, we've got up to nearly just under a million. Had we have carried on with all of our crops and all the rest of it, I would have treated us to a wheel load of all my favourites, um, which is the shop. But obviously, a one of our own. We really could do with something like that. We've got over the winter, so we shall see what we shall see. We've got the vegetables due in January. That's going to bring an awful lot in of 350,000. And 130 odd, 8,000, so we've got half a million euros coming in over the winter time. And then, of course, we have our, which we've just looked at in March, and then another one in June. So, really, um, yeah, what we I think we ought to do, because our businesses have gone a bit funny, I think we ought to sort of do these as we all, always threaten. I just didn't want to overpower them, but I think we ought to do these where we uh, pump up the fertilizer and the manure. I think what we ought to do is stick it in the distributor, the seeds and the manure, buy some and then stick that so that it's going into our other one to go the lime and manure side, which it doubles the recipe. If you look at it, it's double. 
Now I've switched both of these on on another Let's Play, but I have no idea whether that doubles or whether it just does the higher of the two. Yeah, it would be interesting to um, on because we have two to tell them to store and actually see how that works as an idea, really. So yeah, but uh, this is where I'm going to leave it. We're in the month of November. Our money is sort of staying pretty stable and not going to very much at all with all that uh, is happening because our main grass business and that obviously we did the grass and we knew and well, we did sell the money. We had, to be honest, we bought fields and things like that. Obviously, the 881,000, yeah, I know the corns to do next session. Um, I'm thinking, I don't think we need corn. There's two things we could do with it. We could make seeds. If we look here, you can do corn seeds, a thousand per thousand, and it does 240 tons a month. It can only store 100 though, so it's not quite as cut as dry as that. You've got to shift. Oh, yeah, you could do it chugging along through the day, so we could do that. That is a really good little learner. Or the other thing, we could chaff it, and then we could literally do the BJ, and that would also equally earn us a shed load of cash. So I'm thinking I prefer the idea of the chaffing, if I'm being totally truthful. Haven't we got... What have we got? I didn't... Yeah, there's one Let's Play where I've actually bought the... Um... Safari Dragons, no... It's not this one. No, it isn't. It's corn planter mower. Yeah. No, it's not this one. Right, okay. So it isn't. So yeah, it's alright. So we, oh, we can still lease. Uh, we've got a corn header. You know, we're going to stick with what we've got. I'm not going to go lease something monstrously expensive or all this. Because, yeah, I mean, our money has sort of taken a real nosedive. I just think we'll corn it. We'll it will make seeds it's, we should have a real good harvest from it and we still got a bit of straw from it as well that we could do for silage so it's not a total thing but i think we'll stick to using the equipment that we've paid for really so yeah all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you can stick with me on this journey Ooh, right, there's one thing i'd really like to do that's just you know see if the Dominator can manage the corn header. Right, we need to unfold now. We need to stick some lights on. I do love the unfolding of this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Right, we need to, yeah, to turn around the thing, really. Yeah, because it, we... It's the one thing about the Dominator. It's not a terribly good turner. It's really quite awful. But, what would you expect from one of the lowest um it's it's the workhorse of the class range isn't it really it's not I'm just not that bad. Oh, yeah, i'm gonna say it's gonna make a bit of a mess now because it's gonna push that around and i've got no choice to actually sort of push past oh, I really didn't want to do that. yeah just would like to see how uh, yeah we're unfolded already so if we can go down like that now that's dragging in the ground now i have got the, the tool height mod where you do that so that you know, that that is moving at about ooh, a millimeter so that answers my question about that and i did suspect that corn headers are tough i had a 300 and something horsepower um, was it I think it was the class actually the bigger ones that struggled on a 12 meter header um, so and it was obviously an awful I mean this is a 270 so it's not a, not weak but it's it's not capable of doing this so really we are gonna have to rethink this I don't want to stick the more power oh, I do really I do really want to stick more power mod on as we've already said about the tractors it's just I feel a bit cheaty with the harvester really and we can't really afford we haven't got a forage header have we 
I'm going to think about this tomorrow at work. I am, yeah. I, 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 it is true. I don't want to stick the more power on just now, just to suit myself. Um, I think that's probably accurate. I don't know that that could manage that. And I, I, that's that's been totally fair. We know it can with the more power mod. We've seen it in action. It can handle that. Well, let's face it, if it's 270, that would make it a 540 horsepower. The more power mod, I believe it just doubles your horsepower. So 540 horsepower, um, harvest is capable of pretty much almost anything, really. I'm not sure it could manage the Jorus, this particular one, but I think it could manage just, it definitely can manage a 13.7. We've done it, we've seen it. So, yeah, I, I would say... It could probably, in real life, with this being the big mega, this is not a normal one, it's a 270. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know what's happened, but I've lost my... wash thing again, somehow. I don't understand what's happening. It'll be me, I know it will. I'm, I'm not, yeah. But, uh, or, you can sort of sell it. I wonder if I've sold it by accident in the leasing sort of section, but yeah, we'll just... Yeah. This is like this. Just wanted to show you the symbols on this one because this is the at least I think this is. Sure, this is the one with the nice symbols on, which is the 270. I'm sure we we made mention of that, and they deliberately bought it because we didn't we buy this new. No, I'm not sure we did. That's a point. That says 218. You're in the wrong section. Just wanting to, yeah, because I'm, I'm, uh, am I wrong? Have I not got a 270? No, I have. It is by Watch Tazik. It usually has like no, oh, no. It's you'd have to go in the store. So it's the 270. So it's only marginally. It could, it should be able to manage a 12 meter normal header, which is why I thought it could probably manage a nine in the corn, but it really can't. So I think this could easily manage. Now we know most of the time in the game, most people use just the four meter, but it is this particular dominator is capable of probably the six meter header easily, legitimately without any kind of mod to assist it. Yeah, the nine meters obviously we are, and I don't want to sort of cheat. I mean, I don't see the more power cheating with the tractors because they've been nerfed where their whole horsepower seems to be about half of what it should be. But this is this would just be to suit myself, so I'm going to give it some thought tomorrow, and whether we are going to lease. Well, I suppose we could. The easiest option would be to lease a six meter. Should we do a test? Right, let's save the game. Because this is one of those situations that I often say, where you would talk to the shop and say, "Oh, can my can my harvester manage a six meter header? Is it in the your catalogue as as being able to do that?" And they would say. Yes or no? Really? As simple as that. New Holland. Uh, six meter choreo. Let's lease that for 3,238. And. Hang on a minute. What is this right next door? How come that folds up so small and nice? That's just as a funny little twiddle. Yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest, I've said this for a while now, I really did think that uh, we would need another harvester. And uh, with having the 880, I've got to be honest, that was probably, in my mind, that's the other way, was probably what I would have done. That, that, I mean, we bought the, um, the T440, which is so good for so many things, which that was obviously our treat last year, which is, yeah, not a bad thing. I would imagine this can easily manage this. If it can't, then there really is something wrong. So, yeah, it's doing it. It's just doing of the animation. It's amazing. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. It is dragging a bit though, and that—that's the proper class header, mind you. It is, but this is a 
let's just try that so i've got the lift yeah that's fine it was just dragging in the ground so we've got enable straw swath yeah we have right we'll leave it there we will just carry on a next session we will crack on with that in time obviously we are looking for a bigger harvester we know this we do so hopefully this will come in handier handy later all oh, well, that remains to be said really this time is thank you very much for watching truly do have been stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>